while working on a story about manatees a few years ago, I was actually in Florida shooting in freshwater rivers and springs like Crystal River that we see here. This is a place that actually attracts thousands of people every year with kayaks and snorkelers, uh, even some divers, I guess, because the manatees come to these freshwater springs in the wintertime because the water is warmer and they need warm water to survive. This is an aerial photo that shows that aggregation of, of manatees and people. And you know, getting that behavior, the interaction between people and manatees was an important part of the story that I wanted to tell because this is a big ecotourism business and these animals have learned to adapt to humans. But my most special experiences, as often is the case, happened late in the day when everyone else had left and I was just alone with the manatees. I found that they would often swim down these narrow channels into these sort of primordial springs and I would sort of drift, drift down there behind them and be very patient and wait until they allowed me into their world. You know, photographically, I was shooting at very, very high speeds. This is right around sunset, so there's very little ambient light. I'm shooting at maybe 1600 or 2000 ISO, but being able to do that with digital cameras today allows you to see much more of the habitat instead of just the animal. Incidentally, as you may know, manatees are the animals that, we're told, inspired mermaid legends. And uh, early uh, explorers that came over to the New World, like Columbus, wrote in their logbooks about seeing mermaids. It's hard to believe that they ever mistaken that face for <laughs> that of a, of a mermaid, but evidently those boys had been on the boat a little too long. Um, but um, nonetheless, these experiences for me were, were very special. You know, being alone out there is a chance to see interesting social interactions and behaviors, things I hadn't necessarily re read about, like this little social gathering. I'd read that manatees aren't typically all that social, but yet here I could see this kind of thing happening and you know, getting a brief glimpse into an otherwise mysterious world.